welcome to Lightwaves by Totterbird. If you enjoy your use of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos and deals. In front of us, we have the Skill Hunt. This is the E3A. It's a single AAA-powered mini keychain flashlight. I saw these on Amazon, and it was on sale for $10 after coupon, and I had to get it. I'm a collector of these small little flashlights, and I have a few to compare with. And yeah, it just caught my eye. There's four different colors you can buy. Uh, normally this runs around $11.90 when it's not on sale. And they also have a neutral white that's around $13.90. So I figured I'd save four bucks and just get the cool white model. And I'm pretty happy with this. So let's show you the box. It's like a white and yellow box, Skill Hunt. A brand I'd never heard of, but somebody else had pointed me towards it. Uh, it says 100 minutes, 100 lumens. Nice. Uh, you got to see through. You can see the flashlight through the box. I like that little plastic there. There you go, mini flashlight. There's their website. A little bit of a QR code there. On the back here, we have some specifications. E3A is a, oh, it says is a, it should be is an extremely mini keychain flashlight with max powerful output. <laughs> with max powerful output. I like that. <laughs> There you go. Nice thing about it, it runs on three different battery types, alkaline, uh, rechargeable nickel metal hydride, and the Energizer lithium batteries. So it has a rating of 0.8 to 2.0 volts. Nice. Extremely compact. There's some dimensions. We'll go over a little bit of run times there, which we'll also go over. Pretty basic. That's your simple twist on, twist off flashlight. And we'll talk about that too. And it even comes with a AAA battery. Yay. <laughs> Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get for 10 bucks. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by the packaging. thought that was pretty nice. Well thought out. They've got everything out of the box. Box is empty. And uh, yeah, it comes a nice little blister pack with their name on there. It takes a little extra effort. So we got some instructions, some hardware. Go over that. And we got the flashlight. So we can just pop that out of there now. There we go. So we'll throw that aside. Okay, so let's go over what we get. The goodies. I gotta bring this on down. It's a small flashlight. <laughs> okay, so there's the little guy we'll go over in a second. Um, so yeah, for first for the hardware, you got two split rings. This one goes to the flashlight, this one goes to your key ring. It's a flat style. I do like those flat style ones. And they give you two extra O-rings. Uh, pretty nice. And they're the clear variety too. There you go. Good to have on hand. We got a little folded catalog here, or a manual catalog. <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, so yeah, let's see what this says. Probably what the box says. Pretty simple. There's not much to it. One mode. Pretty basic stuff. Okay, warranty card. Um, talking about return policies there. 24 month. Not bad. There's your QR code. Okay, you got some address there. Okay, so there's, yeah, more information from the box. About battery installation <laughs> direct away from your eyes yeah <laughs> don't need to go blind looking at your LED lights in the eyes and there you go compatible batteries okay again pretty simple all right so that's that let's get the little e3a wow is that thing tiny <laughs> I don't know how close I can get to the table pretty close okay let's see here if I can just adjust this down a little bit there we are okay so dimensions for this little guy we have two and three eighths of an inch in length we have a half inch in diameter for millimeters that is 59 millimeters in length and 14 millimeters in diameter so that's neat uh, the weight was 7.5 grams or a quarter ounce without the battery that's pretty amazing <laughs> you gotta love that um, so let's go do a little size comparison i always like doing these put this in the middle i have some competitors yeah i have the lumatop edc uh zero one this is cool. This one runs about, I think, the $9.99, about the same price when that's on sale. Much bigger light. Look at that. That's something. And then we have its uh, main competitor, the Olight. Um, this is the, yeah, I can always can't remember these. I3E EOS. There you go. Another keychain light, which is about the same size, just a little bit bigger. Notice the size difference. This is the size champion, the skill hunt. That's pretty amazing. Uh, pretty impressed with that. And of course, we have some batteries we can put in here. We got a AA battery. Boom. It's about as big as a flashlight. And then we got a AAA battery just to show you what's powering these guys. 
There you go. Boom. All right. Not bad. Now we're going to come back to these two flashlights and compare it to this flashlight with beam pattern, color temperatures, prices, and uh, what they offer. So it's always nice to know what to compete against. So the features of the Skill Hunt E3A. So looking at the front here, we have a nice graduated uh, hexagonal diffused uh, bezel. It's not heavy. It's very light, but you can see if I can get focus there. There are hex hexagonal beads there, but I think it's inverted. I think on, let's see, is it one of these other lights has that going on? Let me see which one. I think the Lumatop does. This one has a more of a heavier. See the difference there? This one's more opaque. You can see through it easier. This one is more opaque, excuse me. So this one, the Lumatop's a little harder to see through. It diffuses it probably a little bit better. We'll see in action, but there you go. Uh, the optics in the uh, E3A is a TIR, Total Internal Reflection Optics. So that's for short throws where the LED is very close to the top near the lens. Okay, pretty basic there. Um, the uh, LED is a Samsung LH351B, and this is the cool white. Um, I didn't get the neutral white because $4 more. I'd save some money and, yeah, get this guy. <laughs> Plus, I think the neutral white only came in slate blue, and I'm a fan of the black flashlights. Yes, I am. <laughs> With the white lettering, I think it looks nice. Um, this is uh, aluminum alloy construction. So nice and solid, hard anodized finish, type 3. Got to love that. Um, almost all my flashlights have that, but that's nice. It doesn't say painted, so it's a, a step up. You got the twist head here, so we twist this on. One nice thing I noticed about this, there you go, there's your 100 lumens, just one mode, on or off, uh, is that this twist is very, very snug. I mean, this takes quite a bit to turn. You're not going to turn this on uh, accidentally in your pocket. Now, these other ones are a little easier to turn. These turn just a little too easy, um, and they'll, they'll turn it on in your pocket very easily. This is a multi-mode one here. We'll go over that one in a second. But this one here does take some effort to turn that light on. So I do like that better as an option. So there you are for a twist on, twist off switch. Uh, very basic. That's 100 lumens you're seeing there. Um, so on the back, I really like this. Now, a lot of people like the flat, like the Lumatop has a flat base so you can tail stand. But I don't know if I'll tail, be tail standing my... AAA flashlights, probably never. Um, so having a nice heavy-duty um, lanyard hookup point, key ring hookup point, is really nice. You can see it's built very well uh, versus some of these, which are kind of limited, kind of weeny, kind of like basic. That's pretty basic on the old light there. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they last. And here's another one. Here's the Lumatops. See how thin that is? Yeah, I just like the style of thickness on that. That's awesome. I had to, had to make that a... Uh, a point to talk about. Um, so you have that. Includes the AAA battery, alkaline. What we're going to do is we're going to open this up. And I'm going to show you the internals here. There's our clear O-ring. Looks like it might need some silicone grease. Uh, let's see, get this open here. The threads are nice and heavy. I like that. And I like those very fine ones. They use some kind of protector for the PCB board. I like to see that. That's nice. And they give us some no-name alkaline battery. I don't know. Nuan Zing. Okay. We're going to replace it with the nickel metal hydride just to be uh, compatible across. The other flashlights are running the same battery. And as you can see, it's got a nice heavy-duty construction. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and put this back together. Those heavy threads grab really quick, which is nice. And I do like the knurling on here. I like this flat areas too, front and back. It's a good grab point when you're twisting on and off the flashlight. So you can twist the body and hold the, the front if you want. Let's make sure it goes on. There we go. Um, so yeah, I do like the way that's designed uh, and heavy knurling, of course, on the front end of the flashlight also. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do another little size comparison. Deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He loves skill hunts from China land. Yeah, that's a pretty small little light. Loving that. Um, and standard batteries, too. You know, the neat thing about this is you can run your radios that have AAA batteries, uh, such as, uh, what is that, Retecus PR-15. I don't know if that's the right one. Might be. I think so. <laughs> um, your Prunus J77, seven, 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 three sevens, I think, yep. That little white radio has uh, AAA batteries. I like to use that radio. It sounds good. Good speaker. Uh, so, yeah, you can cross compatibility. You can have your keychain flashlight with AAA batteries and your radios with AAA batteries. That's the way to go. So, yeah, I'm always looking to do kind of both together. Uh, this is IPX8 waterproof, which is nice. Two meters at 30 minutes. So that's a bonus. Some of these other ones are only uh, 67, which is still good, but uh, it's not IPX8 like this one. 
one meter drop resistant. Yeah, this can drop. I don't think you're going to hurt it at all whatsoever. Um, so yeah, let's go uh, look at a picture I took in the garage. We'll talk about it and then we'll come back to the table and do a little uh, demo. So here I am in the garage. I am 15 feet away from the garage door. The light's on. It's one mode, 100 lumens. Um, you can expect a 100 minute runtime using Energizer Lithium, a 75 minute runtime using a similar battery I just put in, an Eneloop 900 milliamp hour rated battery, and uh, or 45 minutes with a standard alkaline battery. So pretty much run the rechargeable uh, batteries like I showed you. It's probably your best bet. Or if you're doing long term storage, uh, Energizer Lithium is definitely one to put in there. And this has a throw about 37 meters. This next picture, I did take two pictures. This next picture is a picture of like we're working on the car. So I'm pointing it at the wheel about six feet away. So somebody's trying to change a spare tire, somebody holding the light. This is what you can expect. 100 lumens is plenty of light to change a tire in the pitch dark. So this is nice to have. Let's go back to the table. Boom. Okay, so we're going to take the E3A and we're going to compare it with a couple flashlights. I'm going to bring this up. And we're going to bring in something to view while I turn the lights off. We're going to turn this, we'll turn this on. Bing. That's bright. <laughs> and we'll do the lumen. Oh, so let's do the Olight, the competitor. So the Olight comes in at uh, 995, this bad boy. And uh, its runtime is uh, 45 minutes on a battery and has 90 lumens. Um, so not bad. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off, show you the different beam patterns. And then we'll talk about the Lumatop. Okay, so, and let me turn off a light behind me. Love my mini flashlights. Love the mini flashlights. Yeah, I gotta sing a song because <laughs> you're wondering where I went. Yeah, there we go. We'll leave that in the video. It's fun. Um, so, yeah, both on high setting, of course, only one setting, bringing them in. Uh, looking at the table, the skill hunt has a definite wider beam to it, softer beam, um, about the same color temperature. They, they, bo they both look identical. Let's bring them both in. There, there, there's the skill hunt. There's the Olight. Skill hunt. Olight. My camera's trying to adjust. Okay, so you get the idea. Let's go ahead and turn off the Olight here. Okay, we're going to aim this uh, skill hunt at the ceiling. So that's 100 lumens at the ceiling. And then uh, pointing it down at the table from four feet up. There you go. It lights up the table pretty nicely. So there, 100 lumens does a, a great job. Now, when we compare it to the uh, Lumatop EDC-01, this might be one of the better values out there for uh, $9.99. Uh, you got three modes. Um, this one here has a uh, three different modes. It has a high of 120 lumens for 30 minutes, has a medium of 32 lumens for four hours, and has a low setting five lumens for 36 hours, all on a AAA battery and all for $9.99. So not bad, but you kind of give up a little bit of size. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Okay, so for size, you can kind of see here. I'm in the dark, but we'll show you one more time when the lights are on. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to set it to the high setting. So this has three settings. Okay, there's high. So it's high is 120. We'll bring it in. Now it has a... Okay, so the, the light on the left is the Luma Top, and it has more of a more of a bluish-white appearance. The Skill Hunt has more of a warmer appearance. So there you go, the Luma Top definitely has more of a cool, cool bluish white. <laughs> so yeah, if that's your thing, you might want that. There you go. And then bring in, there you go, bring in this Skill Hunt, Luma Top. And of course you can watch my reviews for the uh, Olight and the Luma Top. I'll include those in this video. There you go, you get some ideas. So yeah, if I had to choose, I do like the Skill Hunt's light better. It's got a little bit more better diffused pattern when I bring it in there. And, uh, you know, one mode's enough. I mean, I really, you know, this one mode is great. I can still touch the head here. It's been on for a little while. It's not hot enough. I'm not hurting myself. So that's good. So there we are. So let's go ahead and turn this the top off. We'll turn the lights back on, do some final thoughts here. Let's go ahead and get this on. All right, we'll turn this off. We'll zoom it back down and kind of go over the three different flashlights and which ones you think you'd want. All right, bring this down. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is a new contender or not, if this company's been around for a while, um, so I don't know its track record. I do know Olight's been around forever, and uh, this light has been in production for quite a while, and a lot of people enjoy their Olights. They make them in copper and brass and all different kinds of metal types. I think even titanium, <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Uh, but for the price range, 
you know, if you get it on sale at 10 bucks, great. $9.99, $9.99. So the prices are all good. Uh, it depends on what you want or what you like. Um, right away, I do love the, uh, again, the way this knurling is on the base there. It's very nice. I do like the attachment point. I do like the uh, beam pattern and the color temperature. I like the better than Luma tops. I do miss the multi-mode, but to be honest with you, you have to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off to get to those modes. You know, it's a uh, it starts out in high and goes to low. See how that works. Yeah, uh, but having a five lumen low is pretty nice for that many hours. What was it thirty six hours? <laughs> um, that might be a winner for you guys if that's what you need. Uh, but if you just need a basic uh, keychain flashlight, just the skill hunt's going to be the winner out of these three for me. Let me see if the cards will get my temperature. There we go. So there it is. Yeah, that's my choice right there. Out of these three is what I would pick as my keychain flashlight for sure. Out of out of the three here. Um, another thing is size. I do like the size of that. Um, and the, the the way the switch is a little harder to turn this on. I do like the fact that turning this on requires quite a bit of force. You know, that is a good thing. I mean, you can figure that out in the dark. <laughs> um, they'll probably loosen up a little bit with age, but uh, still not a bad thing because it will not turn on, you know, when you're carrying it in your pocket. That, that's one thing I always worry about. All right, so there it is. The Skill Hunt E3A gets a recommended buy all day long at 10 bucks. You gotta love it. Um, fun little flashlight. They got four different colors. You got red, black, royal blue, slate blue. So take your pick. Even get the uh, the neutral white one if you want a higher CRI, you know, for better color uh, rendering. You might want that. But for a 100 lumen flashlight, um, I think cool white's just fine enough. This seemed pretty good for me. So pretty happy. Um, yeah, so give it a go. I think you'll enjoy it. I have links below, uh, links to all three flashlights. Um, definitely support the channel if you're interested in any of them. Uh, pick them up. I uh, use my links there. You support me, and uh, I'll have it in the video description as well. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like. You guys are the best. Two, if you like skill hunt uh, flashlights, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos and deals. If they ever go on super sale, I will link them in my comment section, and those that have the bell icon clicked will get notified of those deals right away. And people have taken advantage of that, which is good. So there it is, the E3A. Hope you enjoy that. Definitely a cool flashlight. Smack it around. <laughs> of course, comment below. What do you think about the E3A compared to the old standbys? What do you think? Let me know. All right, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.